My dear brother KB, do black men prefer natural hair on black women, brother? Man, we back at it. Um, that's an interesting topic. Do they prefer it? Do we prefer, do we like it? Do we like it? Do we like it? Well, Not even prefer. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, if I turn on my TV and watch the movies and see the videos, yeah. I would say the answer is no, because what's represented? what's represented and what's shown to us is everything but natural. Mm -hmm. But as we mentioned prior to the camera started rolling, yeah. you know, with just a couple of the young ladies in this room, mm -hmm. natural hair, I'm on just a natural hair advocate. I love it. Man. I love it. I love it. It's just so many different styles, you know. Up, it's cornrows, right. yeah. curly, yeah. Yeah. long and natural, even short Caesar cut. You, you know, I think your wife has a shortcut, right? She got the shortcut, right? yeah. you know what I'm saying? You name it, they got it and could rock it with such royalty. Yes. It's because they are designed that way. God made them that way. You are dealing with the, the original components that you were blessed with. You don't need no extra this, that, Facts. and the third. Facts. But the sisters out here, you know, and it kind of ties into some previous topics, being independent, being breadwinners, having the master's degrees and PhDs. Yeah. Well, if I bought it, it's mine, and it's none of your business what I put on my head. And see, that's why men are so important. That's, what the, that's one of the things that men provide to their woman is if he's doing his job right, he's helped building her self-esteem. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times, black women come in with trauma. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we do too. Mm -hmm. Black men come in with trauma, no question. Mm -hmm. But one of our jobs as a black provider is to provide that, that, that mentality to help her maximize her potential. Mm -hmm. To let her know, baby, you don't need that. You I think part of that trauma is, again, that term again, the systemic yeah. uh, media. Okay. As far as, you know, us, black men and women, yeah. uh, seeing the blonde hair, blue eyes, yeah. seeing the long flowing. I remember I had a fair, I'm embarrassed to say this now, in 2021, but, keep but I had a Farrah Fawcett poster on my wall in 1977. Why would, you, why, why would school. you not? Because Farrah Fawcett was the image woman. of beauty. Yeah. So when you see the same way you was affected yeah. by Farrah Fawcett, yeah. that black girl was affected by Farrah Fawcett. Now yeah. she may not have gone as far as put a poster. That's on what I'm saying. That's, that's what, what they were have. seeing too. That's what they were seeing, bro. Yeah. So and this is not. This goes clearly way back beyond fair faucet. Uh -huh. This started with, you know, the first black female millionaire made her money by straightening black hair. Yes. To making it more appealing, more relaxed. They say when your hair relaxed, white yeah, folks relax. They, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You relax because, cause, you know, one of the most... So you said, and I and I love that, uh, what is it, Magic, Madam C.J. Walker, Walker documentary? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 90% I love it. There was some components in there which I heard was fake with some, some, some lesbian stuff and all this, you know, they all, they we ain't going to go there, but... Uh, do you think when she, when she thought about that business or, you know, I heard, you know, she was very successful, was straightening the hair something to make it easier for the black woman to deal with her hair at that time? Or was it, did they, it was or was it, it is, to make them prettier? It was what it is today. It was a standard of beauty they were chasing because the standard. What is that standard of beauty? Is straight European That's hair. Okay. Yeah, straight facts. European hair. Facts. So when you. But then, then you, a lot, a lot of sisters say, well, there's a lot of black women out here with, uh, straight hair. What are you talking the about? The standard, and, yeah. you, and that's true. That's but that's not the standard. What, what, when we see a black woman with straight hair, what we first say? Yeah. You mix with something. Yeah. You ain't really Indian. all the way black. Indian. You you mix with something. Indian. Indian China, your mama Asian. Asian, Asian you something. Yeah. You blazing. Whatever yeah. the case may be. But when we talk about black women's hair, we talking about the nappy, the soft to nappy, the you know the hair that can hold a pick. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And when we talk about that, that's closest to slavery. That's the hair that makes you feel subservient. So it's a, it's a mentality that we developed over years and years of oppression and trauma, mm -hmm. dealing with our follicle resistance. Mm -hmm. So watch this. When we came to our love ourselves and that, that regeneration, the rejuvenation of black pride in the 70s, what was the first thing we started doing? Growing our hair out. Mm -hmm. We started reclaiming. Which I didn't know, back to some of those documentaries you were talking about earlier, I yeah. think. Sam Cooke was, they said he was bit, I, he may have ones, one of the first ones to kick it off. Because he was, he, oh. he was in the conk era. Yes. Sam was definitely steeped That's in the, right. this is the 50s, bro. So, the, remember Sam died? Did he ever have a conk? Because all the pictures I see of Sam, it's Sam always been a short, a, natural Sam fro. Sam had a conk when he sang gospel music. Okay. But when he went out and, you know, became the Sam yeah. in, the, in the modern, yeah. in the R&B, yeah. 
We're natural. Yeah. So when we started seeing that rejuvenation of black pride, the first thing we did was grow our hair out because we knew that was reclaiming something that we had lost because of the oppression and the, and, and the shame of being related to people who were oppressing slaves. Mm -hmm. So in the 80s, what happened? You said, what happened? well, first, remember what happened. The 70s Afros turned into the 80s Jerry Curl. Yes. Right. So yes. the 80s Jerry Curl became more acceptable because we stopped going. We, we, you know, that whole revolutionary thing was fading to now we want some more jobs. The Buppy era. Yeah. We driving BMWs. Yeah. We move into the suburbs. Yeah. We got to relax the hair again. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now we come into this generation where hip hop, where the weave started taking place for the Jerry Curl. And again, an industry was born and black women were the victims in the same way black men become addicted and subservient to athletics and things that's mm -hmm. physical. A lot of women become subservient to that which makes them more beautiful, now, which they think makes them more beautiful. I agree. And I think, you know, take Little Kim, for example, who, you know, I'm not going to get into all the plastic surgery stuff, but, right. you know, they said Biggie or, you know, and a lot of these rappers, you see it or, you know, they, choose, they, yeah. they talk negatively about, about black, women. black women with natural hair. Yes, sir. You know, and, the, and, and and that's trauma on the black male side. Yeah. Because when we so we're part we, of that. We're, we're part of that. No, it's not just the media. We're, we're part not of just that. a part of it. We're huge purveyors of it. Exactly. Because remember, exactly. the girl with the straight hands who we hired. So we're not placing blame, you no, know, on the no, sisters no, no. at we, all. We, we own it. Our part. We're just telling y'all. We're, we're again. changing. Yeah. We're wanting to change yeah. this narrative because we see women embracing their naturals more and more now. And what I do, you know, my wife cut her hair because we got two daughters. Mm -hmm. And my daughters, even at an early age, my oldest one. Well, your daughter one, has the shortcut, right? She got the shortcut, yeah. the 22-year-old. Yeah. When she was a little girl, and April used to wear her hair, you know, uh, uh, with, with the creamy crack is what uh -huh. we used to call it. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? The little one, when she was like 9 and 10, she wanted her hair to look like that. Yeah, yeah. And she felt bad that it didn't. Uh -huh. So... Because it was natural? Because it was, her hair was natural and uh -huh. April had the creamy crack. Yeah. So in order to defend this position of showing our daughter that her natural hair was valuable, mm -hmm. my wife cut the creamy crack out. And that was Sounds 14 great. years ago. You know what that. I'm saying? So, so um, do you have a preference? You know, back to kind of original, I like, you know, we love our wives, no yeah, matter, you know, no yeah. matter braids, you know, uh, if they had a, a weave. A weave, a weave, uh, or the creamy crack. I married her. That's what I'm saying. With the creamy crack. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Our women are our women. But is there a preference? I absolutely, in my position, prefer a natural woman because it speaks volumes to your confidence in yourself. Mm -hmm. When you don't have to conform that's and wear what, I, what everybody else wearing. That's how I feel. And you also that's acknowledging your own natural that's beauty, then you winning. That's how I feel. It's beautiful. That's it's I like feel. women would say, let would say women say, you know, you got to have some bread. But I'm not a, a I'm not a woman. Maybe we we need to have like a, a woman on this topic, or we may have to well, come circle, have to circle yeah. back around. Yeah. But I also think, uh, talk to some sisters, you know, we, we want that big body bends, you know, we want right. the nice rims, we want the nice sneakers, I'm talking about men. Right. I think some women think of that as part of success. Not only it makes them look better, but it's like my virgin hair, or whatever you call it, costs, and they know all the different oh, types and the costs. Oh, yeah. This is a $400 wig of weaves. I got it like got that. Bundle, it's like that. a purse. It's like a purse. It's like an accessory. It's like an accessory. So, may, like, you know. But to your point, you are absolutely right. But I think, and this is just my personal opinion, when a woman has a natural hair, those, you know, accoutrements mm -hmm. don't really matter yeah, that exactly. important. They don't care yeah. about what other people think. That's why I, that's why I like saying? natural hair, because to me it says that about them. It speaks that volumes. they don't, I don't care about. The, it, the Louis purse, even though those are nice, those are nice. or the $500 weave. I mean, you know, Nene, you know, leaks would, you know, you know, she's. I would rather, I would rather invest in things that are real important as opposed to these trinkets. Yes, the trinkets, the trinkets. These trinkets. The trinkets. So, you know, I think when women cut their hair and become natural, they attract a different type of man. Mm -hmm. They attract looks, because when my wife had the creamy crack, Every Joe Blow in the city was hollering at her. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Woo, let me holler at you. But then when you wear your natural, it changes the dynamic because cats automatically recognize this woman ain't wearing the creamy crack and she ain't got that long weave on. She must be more in tune with herself. She I agree. I wonder if women think that. I wonder if women That's think that. Because to me, time in, ladies, to me, it, it screams that, that the woman is more in tune with herself. It's, and, and, that's, and it becomes a whole lot more beautiful. So yeah. I think, in essence, the black man, based on his trauma, may not 
generally speaking, the masses, the masses uh -huh. may still because we hear rap music and we see yeah. who they choose. So yeah. the masses may still be a couple ticks behind the clock. But I uh -huh. think those brothers like you and I, uh -huh. who really recognize the beauty of these queens, yeah. we rock with their natural crowns, my dear brother. And I will say this: I've been seeing more and more shows in the media recently showing sisters who fought it. Rocking natural it's hair. Okay. Now I don't. Sometimes it's big, and I might. I don't know if it's real or not. But, but at least you see that. Yeah. So look, it's either an afro job. or this isn't that. But my wife just did a job in the director mandate for all the women on the show. Oh wow. Natural hair. Wow. That's dope, right? What do you guys think? I'll let us.